I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> Okay, this isn't how I thought this would go. Over the past year, I've pushed my girlfriend, now my fiance, hell yeah, into playing the openings of From Software games to see how their emphasis on conditioning rather than hand holding worked for a newbie. The results were pretty surprising, and you all ended up loving them, so she agreed to record some more, but only if we moved away from soul stuff. This was music to my ears. With all the skills she'd learned through the monster slaying and overcoming Dark Souls difficulty curve, I figured I'd give her something a little simpler, something a little brighter, something I use to chill out in the evenings. Apex Legends. Oh, look at her. She's so good. I love Apex Legends. It's the only battle royale I keep coming back to. The characters are charming, the maps are vibrant, the gunplay is satisfying when they're not nerfing my faves. I know there's a bunch of discourse around the quality of the game's battle passes, but full disclosure, none of that has ever bothered me because I haven't spent a single penny on the game. To the point that I almost feel guilty about it. The loot you get is so generous that I've been able to unlock every legend, a bunch of cool skins, and a heap more without dipping into my wallet once. Oh, and for the record, I'm a Fuse main. Shout out to my favourite Australian lad, Matt Maggie can suck it. With it being a multiplayer game and a first person shooter, I thought this would be the perfect arena to test her limits and see how the game welcomes a new player. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let her go. Don't, don't do it. Oh. I gave her three challenges, which she attempted across a handful of play sessions. Number one, she had to revive or respawn a teammate. Number two, she had to kill another player. I wasn't counting knockdowns. And number three, she had to win a match. So let's put the game to the test. Let's see if a noob, a non-gamer, namely my fiance, can take to the ring and become a champion. All to answer one question. Noobus Humanus. Can my fiance get good at Apex Legends? Let's find out. Let's go, Rachel. Tell the guys uh, that I'm a noob. Tis the dawn of a new season. Oh, so they've got like little things. So what, track, shield, health, track, for this experiment, I gave the Nubis full access to my account. All 21 legends were unlocked for her to have a play around with. She'd seen me play before, so the game's whole vibe wasn't necessarily new to her. She was able to quickly differentiate between the four major classes, but for some reason, the bullet symbol didn't scream offensive to her like it's supposed to. What have you done, Tom? Do you not like him? No. Just Mirage has yeah. got, like, yeah, he's, he's a duplicate guy. Octane's the fast one. He seems cool, he's got a crow. What I love most about the legends is how versatile they are. Just because Gibraltar and Caustic are defensive types doesn't mean your tactical thinking will always be the same. Every new legend announcement comes with a different way to play. They're not always winners, looking at you, Maggie, but they always feel unique. The Nubis wasn't too interested in their abilities, though. She was more concerned with their voices. Um, Pathfinder is just annoying as hell. What are you talking? Are you joking? What? I find Pathfinder like so annoying. Why? See, whenever I've watched you play and there's been a Pathfinder in your team, oh my god. I don't know why, like his voice just annoys me. But yeah, no, Horizon's like, I just want to hear her say silly Scottish things. I half expected her to just jump into her first match blind, but luckily she managed to seek out the training module first, meaning the game could ease her in before everything got a little nuts. Oh, I don't like how I'm first person. Welcome to Apex Legends. Oh, thank you. After all of her time with the Souls series, I thought the camera wouldn't be much of an issue for her. Turns out that was a bloody stupid thought. She spent a lot of her first hour staring at the ground, the ceiling, anywhere but her targets, and she found the whole training session a little overwhelming. Sprint. Oh, I don't like that. Jump. Sprint while couch. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Inside the territories, you can find supply bins that carry weapons and the resources you will need to survive. Had I opened them? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it square and not X? Why? Okay, cool. How do I shoot? Nope. <laughs> Shut up! How do I shoot? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. How do I? Cool. I think it was the panic of needing to learn a brand new type of game so quickly. To be fair to Apex, its training session clearly labels all of the basics, but she wasn't focusing on the objectives on the right hand side of the screen. I saw sheer unbridled confidence on her face as the game booted up, but the second she needed to move and fire and understand first person systems, it melted away. 
The worst moment was when she had to pick up a second gun. Two weapons, cool. How do I pick up a second weapon? No, no, how do I pick up? I don't have a second weapon. Do I have a second weapon? I don't have a second weapon. Where am I supposed to give me your gun? No, no, no guns. No guns here. I need a second weapon. That'll do. Right, it does say pick up a second weapon, so there must be a second weapon here somewhere. And there's other things. Cool. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> it says on the checkbox, pick up a second weapon. It does. I only had one. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand. Better go find a second <laughs> weapon then, eh? Stop laughing, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Look, I got, I got nothing, I got nothing, nothing. See, nothing. I'm getting comfortable, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> we're not gonna be here a while. Oh my god, there's weapons! I think it's really smart that the game forces you to play as Lifeline here. There will always be a dumbass who abandons the group or tries to Leroy Jenkins it, but Apex is always at its best when you're operating as a team, and Lifeline's abilities are hyper-tuned to help other players. It conditions you to start thinking about your role in your unit before your very first match. Where to? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Put it, put it down, put it down, go down. <sighs> but, 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 where I think this tutorial trips up is in how it doesn't prepare you for active combat. Considering we recently got enemy AI in Season 13, I don't think it would be too much to ask that training gets one final objective buttoned onto the end where you need to fight a couple of bots. Trust me, you'll see why in a couple of minutes. Wait, is that the end of my training? Is that it? Get your butts firmly seated on that dropship. What's that? Is that bad? Oh! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Her first match went about as well as you'd expect. She chose Horizon, not because of what she could do, but purely because she was Scottish. We set off for Storm Point, and just as she was gathering herself, the game made her jump master. Someone give me a place. Someone! Anyone! Lads! Where am I gonna go? Where? Where? Let's go here. We do this for science! For science! Whee! She didn't know how to access her map, so her sense of space was completely gone as she charged through dirt and leaves. She spam square to pick up whatever she could, ending up with a wingman and everyone's favourite meme weapon, the Mozambique. Like, these are... Is these not like health boxes? No. Where are we? Up! Oh. I did it. I did it. Where are we going? Over here? Cool. Let's go. Let's do it. And I can't die when I jump. It's amazing. Wow. Watch me save you all, guys. I'm coming for you. Do they have health? They do. Oh my god, give me it. How did you find people? <laughs> Where are they not? How did you just get up there? It's all good. Use the syringe. Use it. Use, use the syringe. Lads. Lads. She opted to just follow the other players, meaning she was at least close to the action, but it wasn't long before the gang ran into danger. Her uncertainty with the buttons meant that any time she needed to heal, she wouldn't just tap the up button like she was supposed to, she'd bring up the full health wheel and slowly try to select what she wanted. And that wasn't the only time she was slow. Who's on my team? Oh, Mirage she's on my team. Cool. I'm here! It's a distraction! I'm here! I'm here! Where's the baddies, guys? I have health. Can I give it to him? That's not what I wanted to do! I feel so bad for these guys. I honestly do. Where? Ben? <laughs> <laughs> what? Are these baddies? <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> okay, let's go. My pal needs me! My pal needs me! I'm gonna save him! I'm gonna do it! And round two wasn't much better. Land! <laughs> I can't see! No! No! That's that shape! <laughs> run away! Run away! <laughs> oh well. Oh, lads! Wait a minute, guys. 
I need, I need stuff. Oh shit. I'm gonna try and take one out for you. <laughs> On top of learning the controls, the guns, the abilities, the map, the Nubis was also working towards a very particular objective. Revive another player, hoping to cross it off the list while she got used to how everything played. That's a really smart idea, but the problem was she thought the time limit to respawn someone was a lot shorter than it was, so she'd panic and dive into fights alone. One confused horizon against three experienced legends. I dealt 142 damage. I mean, that's alright. Nope! 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Discovering she could relinquish Jumpmaster was a game changer. Lots of matches would fall into a mini game of Jumpmaster Boomerang, where her team would pass it among each other. Don't get me wrong, I understand why she didn't want to take the lead, but it was damn frustrating. Being Jumpmaster is one of the key ways you can learn a new map. You can scout out where you want to go and fly over to it, considering the locations you find along the way. But instead, what we got was hours of... No! I don't want it! Take it back! Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> I don't want it. Nope. Well, they both relinquished it to you. I don't care. It goes back to them. Eventually, her hand was forced and she had to abandon Horizon to another player, opting for Wraith instead. And shockingly, this was one of her best matches yet. Oh, I don't, I don't learn how to do this. Wait, what? How do I get up the rope? Yeah, all right, give it time. Storm Point's a difficult map, especially for a first timer. It's the largest arena the game offers up and a perfect example of how bigger isn't always better. Vast expanses of nothingness stretch out at times, filled only by buildings that are copied and spread out like white people at a Rod Stewart concert. On it, on it like a car, but on it. No, that's a ring, that's a ring, that's a ring, that's a ring. Go, go back, 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 back. <laughs> the gravity cannons aren't just a fun option for you to experiment with if you want to leap across the war zone, they are a total necessity because of how empty the space can be. It discourages close quarters combat because it's covered in high ridges. That makes it a sniper's dream, which is great, but snipers aren't newbie friendly. However, what this did mean was that this match gave her plenty of time to get good. Oh no. I wanted your enemy. Right! Right! God damn it, that's not what I wanted. I've worked out the rope. Wait, no, there was the Mozambique back there. No, I'm not fighting the Mozambique. <laughs> I'm a coming. <laughs> oh, I'm getting there. Oh, Mozambique. No, coming. <laughs> coming to save the day. Enemy over there. That's not what I wanted. Oh. <gasps> I'm not gonna hit anything from this, am I? I'll go down and help them. No. <laughs> if you <laughs> left me, the <laughs> It's not going in the video. Get the <laughs> cop! <laughs> nope, no, they haven't. No, they haven't! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Where am I going? Where am I going? Where is it? What? Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> it's fine, I'll outrun it. It's okay. <laughs> I have a heat shield, save me. Right, how the f <gasps> do I do a heat shield? Oh. <gasps> Shockingly, she was lugging around baggage from Elden Ring. That was the last game she played way back in February when we recorded that video, so she kept thinking of L1 and R1 as the first button she should go for when baddies start to attack. It meant she kept spamming her abilities by accident, which totally threw her off and resulted in chaos and death, and it would be a long time before she overcame that challenge. But before we get there, this video is sponsored by BestGamePrice.net. It's a price comparison platform for PC games, connected to all the big names you would expect. Steam, Epic Games, Green Man Gaming, and a whole bunch more. So you're not overpaying for the titles you buy. Gaming's getting more expensive than ever. AAA publishers like Square Enix are trying to squeeze every penny out of you. 70 bucks for a two-year-old game? Are you kidding me? So if you're like me and prefer to own the games you play, this is the site for you. I've got a bookmark now, so when I fancy buying something new, I can hop in 
just search for the game I want and get it for the best price in a matter of minutes. Hey look, Verizon's 50% off. It's totally free and you do not need to sign up. All you need to do is click the link in the description to save money and help the channel out. Thanks again to bestgameprice.net and back to the video. Back from a wee kip. Respawn beacon deployed. Whoa. I don't care! Let's go! No. <laughs> I've always known that multiplayer games can be overwhelming for a first timer, but it wasn't until this match that I realised just how bad it can be. It's like being a first time driver out on the road alone, you always need to be on. Apex expects you to be hyper aware of so much stuff across a match. Where your team is, where your enemies are, where the ring is, where ammo is, what they're pinging, what you're carrying, what hop ups you need, where materials are, you get the idea. For the Nubis, it was sensory overload the second her feet touched the ground. <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm gonna like scare them to death. No! <laughs> <laughs> Did you not see the grenade? No! <laughs> it's so fast and I can't repeat anything. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. Dark Souls is like a total 180. What she needed was a friend, a good guy player that was going to take things slow and steady with her. Someone like me, but not me, I wasn't putting myself through that. Her prayers were answered in the form of Cal JV playing Fuse. Big shout out to this guy, he was an absolute legend. Their team was short of players so they were already at a disadvantage but the duo landed somewhere quiet and old Fusey patiently pinged a bunch of good loot for the noobs to gobble up. I need Backpack, a big backpack. Backpack here, level three. Clearly, Cal could hear her on the mic, so sacrificed some of his materials to whip up a good backpack for her. The pair became fast friends. He's trying to help oh, you out. Oh, he's trying to help me out. He's trying to help you out. I don't know if you can hear us, Cal JV, but thank you. We've got a first timer here. Shop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah! Oh my god! Into battle we go! That's not what I wanted to do! Well, that'll do. I'm coming for you! <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole shooting part that's the hardest. With a whole 75 points of damage under her belt, the Nubis decided to switch things up one more time, choosing to play as Octane because of his speed. It was super refreshing to see her experiment so much, trying out different playstyles and personalities to see what gelled most with her. The map had rotated again after a short break, so this time we were dropping into my favourite zone, World's Edge. Friends, I don't have a gun. Friends, I cannot help you. Do not have a gun. Let's go. She'd fallen into that horrific pit of despair that comes with not being able to find a gun and swiftly zooped into the air. Like a dirty coward, she fled the hot zone, leaving her comrades to fend for themselves. But this, luckily, offered the Nubis a chance to prove herself. They're both dead? Yeah. <laughs> Can I not use these things? Oh, there it goes. Bastard. I'm coming, guys. Don't lose hope. Whoa. Don't worry about them. The banner. Where's the other one? Don't mind me. Okay. Where's the beacon? Where's the thing? Hot! Hot! He's a fine. He's a fine. I'll get you, sir. It's okay. Oh, that's right. God help. These guys are just like. God damn it. Oh, you got it. I'm Octane. I'm so fast. No one can, can stop me. <gasps> what the fuck? Yay! Yay! <laughs> One objective down, booyah, but the match wasn't over yet. Her new friends landed without so much as a thank you, rude, and dashed over to the harvester. With two experienced players either side of her, the Nubis was the only one trying to achieve any sort of team synergy. The days of Cal's JV, the friendly fuse were over. The days of Fanny Pack and Fudge Stick had come, charging off to try and solo other teams. Mozambique. Mozambique, yay. I'm a coming. Oh my god. I'm a coming. With your Mozambique. With my Mozambique. <laughs> 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 
chaos. When it first came out, Apex brought a lot to the table that revolutionised how we look at battle royales. Overwatch had colourful characters to choose from, Fortnite and PUBG had the red ring of death to make a match feel structured, but it was the ping system that upgraded the accessibility of the genre. Shall we head this way? Yep. Following you guys. I don't know what's happening. It means you can collaborate with your team without uttering a single word. Because it's contextual, the simple tap of an R1 button can tell your team where enemies are, where loot is, if you think a baddie has been through already, where you're headed, and so much more. In fact, it's such a great system that EA patented it to stop competitors from stealing the mechanic, and then last year removed that same patent so that other games could use it, all in the name of accessibility. Better late than never, I guess. It was during her ninth match that I noticed the Nubis wouldn't use this system, though. She would just mumble aloud the things she needed, and thankfully she was paired with a couple of legends who were all too happy to help. Have I not got? Oh, no, I don't. Well, you got blue. Blue's good. Ah! <gasps> oh. I think they can hear us. Nice guys. Just like CalJV before them, Sooty Gremlin and ZK Neil really showed off the best that the Apex community can be. They would constantly communicate, constantly look out for her, and the three ended up forming a real in-game camaraderie. We agreed that this would be her last match of that night. With the clock ticking down and the red ring closing in, she gripped the controller tight and hunted for a win. How did she where where did she go? No. Good. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. They're running. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one. This is. There they are, there. Yeah, but that brings someone behind you. Here we go, get ready. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't save me, don't save me. You can do so much better without me. It's fine. I'll just hide here. It's okay. Backpack. Is that another one? That's yours. Oh. Where are we going? Well, where are they going? Well, I need to heal. No, 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 no. Is that mine? Ah. Yeah? It's a mirage. They're over there. There. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't count. I've done literally nothing. <laughs> And hey, a win is a win. Major props to these two literally carrying her across the finish line. And who knows, maybe they wouldn't have won the day if she hadn't pinged this empty room. There was one final challenge left. She had to prove herself as an apex predator. She had to get a kill. So, to give her a helping hand, I logged on. 
This was kind of a dream come true for me. I've been wanting to play Apex with her for years now, and what better excuse than this series? A week after her match win, I dusted off the PS4, brought through a second TV, and tinkered with her names so you could tell the difference. Don't ask why the online IDs are suddenly different, it became a whole stressful thing that is not worth going into. For our first match, we landed in World's Edge. I was keen to get her Bluth pumping, so took us to Bloodhound's Trial, where you can face off against some Prowlers for good gear. I can't get up this rock. Right, I go for it. Help! 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 Ah! Nice, you got it. Did I? Yeah, one more, one more. Lovely. Is that it? Oh my god. Right. Come over here. Cool. I got lots. Right, let's Are you go. Still walking around with two shotguns. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am. And it wasn't long before we found our first squad. Okay. Sorry, I'm coming. No, so steady. There's definitely going to be someone here, I think, so. Is that a person? Yeah. Get down, get down, get down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Charge your shields. Alright. Yeah. Then eventually. Do you want me to go down there? Oh my god, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm coming. Oh. Sorry, don't worry. Oh god, she's not that shield, and I'm very exposed here. Okay, I'm gonna come get you. Give me a sec. Oh shit, no, no. There are two types of Apex Legends players, hunters and looters. Hunters seek fights, they're hyper aware, they hear the crackle of gunfire in the distance and head in that direction. Looters seek gear, they're content landing on the outskirts of the map, crafting to upgrade their armour and ransacking a complex before moving on to the next, and I was totally happy to oblige. Mozambique here. Mozambique here. Mozambique here. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Putting these two types of players together can be a recipe for disaster, but I made a point of staying in range of Anubis while we played together, keen to line up a solid kill for her. Through jolly cooperation, we reached the Lava Siphon, a hot spot that's usually busy early on. Oh god, you're a wheel already. Jesus Christ. What's up? Hey. Yay! Okay. I made it! Does the arrow tell me how to get up? There's some stairs. I know, but I didn't get up the stairs. There's here. I didn't get up the stairs. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I was, I'm so close. I think I'm so close. I don't know. Am I? Am I there? Oh, bodies. Just I'm just gonna hide my gun and we're gonna run. Yeah, ready, three, two, one, go. That that would have been helpful if I actually uh Oh my god! Oh my god! You okay? No! Baddies. Oh no! Oh. She got an assist, but if we're not counting knockdowns, I couldn't count that. Our third match was far more leisurely, returning to the tropics of Stormpoint. It's such a long way to the top if you wanna rock and roll. How'd you keep up with me, man? Honestly. <laughs> I resigned myself two years ago because I simply can't keep up with you. But how hard is that? I have the high ground now, Anakin. Ooh, flowers. Look at them. They're so pink. We're gonna go fight some spiders. No! Are you fighting spiders? Yeah, I'm fighting spiders. You fight the spiders. No, I'm, not, I'm gonna leave one for you. No, I don't want them! I really don't want one. Ah, yes. Cool. Got everything I need. Oh, good. Nothing you're needing? 
No. I need to not die. That's why I need to have a thing for that. That is. Yep. That's fine, we don't have to hit them. Just get them moving. We're all positioned here. Oh, that's not okay. Well, let's. Well. Get out! Now I know what you're thinking, Monty, she's not getting any combat experience from these long matches where you only see a couple of squads, and I hear you. For our final match together and following a short break, I decided to take the bull by the horns and drive us into a hot zone, just to see what would happen. How about not? You ready? Alright. Here we go. Any things, any things, oh, any things. The lag is suddenly hit. I'm really bad as well. Oh, so bad. No, no, no. I'm lagging. Oh my god, I killed someone! Yeah! <gasps> I punched someone to death. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> And there you have it, we can officially tick Apex Legends off the list. More than anything, this just showed me that maybe I shouldn't have kept her on Souls Likes for so long, because the conditioning inherent in those games carried over here a little too much. But hey, 13 deaths and 12 matches is a pretty great go. So did it whet her appetite for more? Am I going to drag her to the next esports event? Nah. No, no it's, not, it's not my cup of tea. Okay. I, I enjoy watching you play it, and like, I enjoy... It's, nah, it's not my cup of tea. I am not a fan of shooter bang bang run around games. Well, there's always next time. Thanks for watching. And big shout out to bestgameprice.net for sponsoring this video. Link to their site is below. As always, you'll see my patrons on the left hand side. It's because of them I can keep investing into new kits that makes these videos even better. So, order of thanks go to Mark Anderson, Kay Dansky, Joel Wilcox, Pleo, Gavastrium, Jin Rummy, Blank Name, Ross Hupp, Unholy Biscuit, Greg Greed, Uzair, Leon, Matthew Sinclair Thompson, Justin Johnson, X Wrights, Baxman, Shamax, Tibby Galanu, Aiden, Jonathan Riggs, Zachary Johnson, Dexter TK421, DNSCH, Martin Gribben, Jordan S, Jared Trainum, Nick, Damp Gibbon, Monica Harry, Kieran Gresty, Jade Kavanagh, Liam DeBorn, Lamar825, Jeremy Shore, Ike N, The All Brand Man, Jake, Tempe, Courtney Wampler, Anthony Holder, David J. Morin, Minito, Iskerton, Callum Armitage, Christopher Tierney, Torstein Sundas, Fipsy, Derek DeRozia, Luca, Tom Inns, Heliquin, Sammy Stuff, Jaguke, Jordan, Alberto Calles, Lee, Austin Long, Ty Praz, Matthew Bendel, Dini, Zachary Powers, Andrew Muinos, Compulsory Fungus, Dank Hank, Prospero, now in Guterres Nopoff, Lizzie Gale, Alan Black, Callsign Noor, David Bedard, Derek 8, CC, Jared Helfer, Graham McLaughlin, Oliver Farrell, John Foster Ag, Robert Capel, Matt McCulloch, Graham Barreros Ferreira, Ethan, Paul W, Chief Sweep, Ehor May, Jonathan Lum, Eddie Wingfors, Reese, Strupp, Angry Optimist, Yana Grasfrau, Laura Possum, Long Cheddar, Jordan Halsey, Amari Selden, Toxter, Donis Comba, Ashley Broning, 100 Sams, My Friend Neil, Michael Diaz, Nathaniel Waters, Dinkin Pearson, Kyle Piers, Seb Scott, Lonely Ronan, Chris Bread, Kane Highwind, Neve Care, and Johnny Miller. Thank you all so much, and take care. <laughs>